Hello to everyone. I'm Lizelle Amanya again. I'm here to teach you and if you want to learn, please click the subscribe button and tap the bell button to get more videos. By the way, our lesson for today is all about solving equation that involves fractional exponents. Example number one x squared positive 4x positive 52 raised to the power of 3 halves is equal to 512. So, to solve this one, we can raise the reciprocal of the exponent. Let's see. x squared positive 4x positive 52 raised to the power of 3 halves is equal to 512. And then we can raise also both sides by the reciprocal of the exponent. Kung ano yung iaad natin dito, yung reciprocal niya is 2 third, ganun din sa kabila. We can raise also the reciprocal of the exponents. From the first exponent, then we can raise from the second exponent by the reciprocal of the first exponent so 3 times 2 is equal to 6 then 2 times 3 is equal to 6 so 6 over 6 is equal to 1 therefore ang remaining na lang niya is x squared positive 4x positive 52 is equal to 512 raised to the power of third ito ito siya yan erase natin siya dito tapos pagkatapos niyan kung paano natin erase itong 512 para magsusolve natin ito to simplify we can use the radical exponent and then kung ano yung nasa denominator niya yun yung ilalagay natin sa index since it is a square root, and kung ilalagay natin yung 3 sa index, so magiging cube root na yan siya. So, cube root of 512 is equal to, yan, 512, kung iku-cube root natin, yan siya, magiging 8 na lang yan siya. Yan, is equal to 8. The cube root of 512 is equal to, Eight. And then, use the raising power which is 2. So, so 512 cube root is 8 and then raised to the power of 2. And then, 8 raised to the power of 2 is equal to 64. So, ang 64, ilalagay natin dito sa answer ng 500 squared over 2 thirds. Yan. So, 8 squared, para malaman natin kung saan ang galing yung 8 squared, yan dito yan, yung cube root ng 8 is 512. Copy muna natin to siya, x squared, positive for x here. We can copy it. And then, yung 64 dito. Yan ang gig. Lalagay natin siya dito. Yun na yung answer niya. Hindi pa tayo tapos. Tapos, pag ililipat natin siya dito sa kabila para maging 0 yan at i-combine natin yan, kung i- so, kung i-subtract natin yung 64, negative 64 both side, yan, i-subtract natin dito, magiging negative 64 na yan at, and then ito maging 0 is equal to 0 and then we can collect like terms we can solve first this one since positive 52 is less than 64 so we can subtract and then we can use the negative sign so 50, 64 minus 52 is negative 12 and then you copy this one x squared positive for x yan ganyan na yan equal to 0 
And next steps is we can factor this one. Since I have a lesson in my uh, factoring polynomials, you can check if what you are going to do when you are factoring polynomials. So this is what we do. Um, x is equal to positive x positive x. Ganyan. And then x negative 2. Because 6 times x is equal to 6x and then x times negative 2 is negative 2x so 6x minus negative 2x is positive 4x and then 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 so ito yung factor niya remember then i-equate natin yan to 0 both sides are 0 we can factor it. And then, after factoring, we can solve by x. And then, this one magiging positive 6 na yan siya. So, x is equal to negative 6. Ay, hindi na nakikita. Hindi na makita sa blackboard sandali. And then, x is equal to negative. Is equal to positive 2. Because... When we transfer, remember that when you transpose to the other side, if you add the opposite sign, we can cancel it and in transfer to the other side, it can change in sign. And then, para ma-check natin yun kung tama po yung answer natin, i-check natin kung tama ba yung answer natin. So, kung ang x natin ay negative 6 here here if we can put in checking if x, x is negative 6 then we can substitute the value of x here we have negative 6 x positive 4 times negative 6 positive 52 and then don't forget to put the raising power which is um, 3 halves this one, they have three halves, and then equal to 512. And then, simplify natin to, magiging 36 na yan, positive, and then positive 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. This one, remember, negative 24. Isa-isahin natin para maintindihan nyo, at positive 52. Don't forget to put the raising power here. So, we have 512. And then, e, e, subtract natin to. E, add on subtract. So, we have 88. Collect like sign. So, we have 88. Positive 88 minus 24. Don't forget the raising power here. So, we have 3 halves is equal to 512. And then, 88 minus 24 is equal to 64. Well, now we have, and then raised to the power of 3 halves is equal to 512. And then yung gamitin naman natin yung radical sign, magiging a square root of 64 raised to the power of 3. And then 8 raised to the power of 3 is equal to 512 so 8 raised to the power of 3 is 512 is equal to 512 so yung answer natin na negative 6 is correct because it is equation it equates to its side is equal to its side so ito na yun. and then Yung x is equal to 2, i-check din natin ito. Gamitin natin to. So, if x is equal to 2, so we have, we can use the given form, given equation. So, we have x squared positive 4x positive 52 raised to the power of 3 halves is equal to 512. To substitute the value of x, which is 2, and then 4 times 2, 
positive 52 raised to the power of 3 halves is equal to 512. And then we simplify. 2 squared is equal to 4. Positive 8, positive 52 is equal to 512. And then, we can add all this time since it is the same sign. So, 52 plus 8 is equal to 60 plus 4 is equal to 64. And don't forget to put the raising power here. We have 3 halves. And then you can put also the raising power here which is 3, three halves. And then we can use the radical sign. Gamitin natin yung radical sign dito. So, 64. Since yung denominator natin is 2. So, square root of 64 na yan. Square root, it means that it is 2. Understood na yan 2. So, yung 3 natin na sa numerator, erase natin. So, square root of 64 is 8. Raised to the power of 3 is equal to 512 so 8 cube is equal to 512 and then is equal to 512 so it is equal it means that x is equal to 2 is correct ito yung answer natin yung answer natin x is equal to negative x lagay natin dito sa kabila para maintindihan nyo therefore x is equal to negative x or x is equal to 2 and this is our answer from the equations and then and then let's go to an example number 2 Mas madali lang to siya, mas maiksi. 4z positive 7 raised to the power of 1 third is equal to 2. Yan. Gagamitan na naman natin to siya ng reciprocal. I-raise natin kung ano yung raise niya. I-raise pa natin siya ulit ng reciprocal para makansil yung exponent niya. And then, we can raise, raise 3. The reciprocal of 1 third is 3 or 3 over 1. Understood na yan na may 1 sa baba. Is equal to, i-raise din natin yung 2. So, 2 raised to the power of 3. So, to solve this, 3 in raising power here, we have this one. 3 times 1 is equal to 3 and 3 times 1 here. So, 3 over 3 is equal to 1. So, i-cancel natin yan siya. Understood na yan siya na may 1 dito sa exponent ng 4z at 7. So, magiging 4z plus 7 na yan. Positive 7 is equal to ito. Kung i-raise natin, 2 times 2 is equal to 4 times 2 is and then to isolate the constant term which is 7, we can add both side by negative 7. Ayan. Mag-add tayo ng kabilaan ng 7 para mailipat dito sa kabila. So, i-cancel natin ito, yung 7. Ang matitira na lang yan ay 4z. And then, equal to 8 minus 7 is equal to 1. And then, to solve for z again, we can divide each side by 4. Para maalis itong 4. So, i-divide natin siya both side ng 4. Again, then we cancel out 4 here. Therefore, our C is equal to 1 fourth. 
Ito yung answer niya. Underline na natin para ma laman natin niya ito yung answer niya. To check the value of z here, we can check. So, if z is equal to 1 fourth. So, we can substitute the value of z here. So, we can use the given equations. We have 4z positive 7 raised to the power of 1 third is equal to 2. And then, substitute natin yung value dito ng z. So, z is equal to 1 fourth positive 7 raised to the power of 1 third is equal to 2. So, we simplify na. 4 times 1 is equal to 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. So, plus 7 is equal to... Don't forget to put the raising power here. We have 1 third. So, 1 plus 7 is equal to 8. Raised to the power of 1 third is equal to... Two. Kung i-radical sign natin yan, since yung 3 natin ilalagay natin sa index, magiging cube root of 8 na yan. So, cube root of 8 is equal to 2. Since 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So, therefore, our Answer is ne is equal to positive 4. The value of z is equal to 1 fourth. This is correct. Tama to siya. So, ilalagay natin niya. 1 fourth. Ito yung answer niya. Ayan. And then, let's go to an example number 3. Hanggang dito lang tayo at marami pa akong gagawin. Next time, ulit, ulit. Ayan. Sana matutunan nyo to at pag-aralan nyo ng mabuti. Kung ito ay nakakatulong sa inyo, please subscribe the my channel. I-subscribe nyo lang lang po ako. At kung nagugustuhan nyo, please click the like button. So, our example number 3 is x positive 4 raised to the power of 2 thirds. Again, i re raise din natin siya ng reciprocal of 2 third both side. Para ma, maging isa na lang yan siya. So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 3 times 3 is equal to 6. So, 6 over 6 is equal to 1. So, cancel out. Yan na lang. X positive 4 is equal to 9 raised to the power of 2. And then square root of 9 raised to the power of 3 so x positive 4 then the square root of 9 here is 3 tapos yung power niya is 3 raised to the power of 3 then solve natin yan so x positive 4 is equal to 3 times 3, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. So we can put 27 here. And then to isolate the constant term which is 4. Kung i-subtract natin yan both side, we can add both side by negative 4. And then we can add also here negative 4. So we cancel out 4 here becomes 0. Yan. Kung ano yung isusubtract natin or i-add natin sa kabila, ganun din. So, remaining is x. Then, 27 minus 4 is equal to 23. So, we can have 23 here. Therefore, our x is equal to 3. The value of x is equal to 23. And then, it's checking natin kung ano yung x natin, kung ano yung answer natin, kung tama ba, so iti-check natin. Gamitin natin yung equation x positive 4 dito. 
x positive 4 raised to the power of 2 third is equal to 9. Yan. And then we can substitute the value of x here. So since our x is equal to 23, we can put 23 here. Plus 4 is equal to close and open parenthesis with quantity of 2 third is equal to 9. Then 23 plus 4 is equal to 27 raised to the power of 2 third and then equal to 9. And then as I said, yung numerator natin magiging index na natin siya. So, ilalagay natin tong 3 dito sa index ng radical sign here. And then, yung numerator natin yung raising power natin. And then, since uh, cube root of 27 is equal to 3, and then, i-raise yung 2 natin dito. So, 3 squared. Magiging 3 squared na to siya. Yan is equal to 9 so 3 squared is equal to 9 therefore our equation is correct if our x is equal to 23 so yung answer natin dito is 23 so pwede natin ilalagay siya dito sa ibabaw ng x is equal to 23 here we can put Ganun lang yung gagawin natin para malaman natin kung tama yung answer natin, i-checking natin, and then kung, kung magkapariho yung equal nila, yung equation nila, ibig sabihin tama yung answer mo. Yan. Please review my other videos para maintindihan nyo kung saan ko ito kinukuha at saan ang gagaling kasi parang Pinag-mix-mix lang sila. Kaya, sana magugustuhan nyo. That's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.